Hey, it's Kara. You're watching Really Famous, where I have real talks with actors from your favorite TV shows and movies. Today, I'm talking to Julian McMahon. He's about to share some personal details, so you want to stick around. Now, who do people think you are? What's like the image they have of you publicly? Oh, my goodness, really? Um... I have no idea. That's such an interest. I should know, really, shouldn't I? I don't um, know. I don't know. I certainly know that, uh, you know, for years, people have always said to me, why do you always play a bad guy? Right? Does that kind of lean into what you're, what you're asking? So I guess my kind of public perception to a certain extent at some point in time was a, a bad guy or something. I don't okay. know. Okay. Okay. Um, so, no, you were, gonna, you were thinking something else. I don't want to cut you off. Yeah, no, and I'm thinking I'm not, I don't, none of this is, is concrete, that's for sure. Um, gosh, I really don't know. I, I mean, what, how do you know, I guess? I mean, I think maybe some people feel like people make assumptions about them and they treat them a certain way so they know that, but maybe there aren't a lot of assumptions. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I've had different answers to that question. Like some people have said, I really don't know, or it's really not my, none of my business. Somebody, or one or two people have probably said, um, mm. but I've had plenty of people who say, who, who think that people look at them a certain way. Like for example, um, Michael Imperioli, he uh, played Christopher on The Sopranos, Christopher mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Moltisanti. So he, I think a lot of people think he's, one of the Sopranos, hmm. you know what I mean? So like, that's the image of him is that he's like some guy from, uh, you know, New York or New Jersey plucked out of the mall or something like that. And which couldn't be further from the truth, but I think the way that people talk to him makes him realize that that's what people think hmm. he is in real life. And so look, it really depends on characters you play then, doesn't it? Maybe, right? maybe, or maybe some, sometimes you may project something that is misinterpreted you know like people see something that's not really there and it may not have anything to do with the character but it may i think for actors you're right that's probably a good point that a lot of it will have to do i think a lot of it do it. and you know yeah. if you play a role on television yeah more so it lasts for a yes. long time even more so whereas if you're playing roles in in film you know it's a two-hour kind of thing that comes along every now and then, so to speak, right? True, true. Although even with a lot of these kind of marvel -y type movies, everybody looks at people like they are that person, yeah. whatever else. So, but I, I do think it has a lot to do with the, I mean, you know, I have kind of most of my fans, aside from the most wanted fans right now are, you know, from Nip Tuck and Fantastic Four and a show I did called Charmed, which is a uh -huh. show years ago, but, and they're all, kind of definitively different, you know, and they, they look at me completely different. So when right. you get recognized, do you feel like you know what show somebody is oh, thinking yeah. of you from? Oh, I can tell as soon as they come up what show. Um, sometimes there's a little bit of a conflict between Fantastic Four and Charmed because they're both kind of almost similar type characters. But I, I can tell, I can tell those people straight away. And, and, oh, they, and they have a very definitive idea and belief of who it is that I am. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, yeah, but I think that's true. And they couldn't be, couldn't be more different. Like the guy that I played on Charm couldn't be more different than the guy I played on Nip Tuck. I mean, they're just totally. Yeah. Um, so the second part of the question is, who are you really? Oh, now that one I certainly don't know the answer to. <laughs> I told you it wouldn't be like entertainment tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I really? Well, look, I'm still developing. I'm still evolving, but I've certainly, I've had many machinations, I think. I don't think I've just been one, it hasn't been one kind of straight path for me. Um, but I think that now I've become somebody that really loves kind of time with my family, really enjoys the possibility of working and working hard I still love that stuff um, who am I really I don't know I think I think maybe kind of more so than anything I'm just somebody that really cares about what I do and when I mean cares about what I do that 
facet. That's in all facets of my life. I care about the people in my life a lot. I care about my family a lot. I care about um, humanity even. You could take it that far. And I think I've just become a, a, a pretty conscious guy who, who I've always been kind of positively driven. You know, I just always um, have been that kind of guy, even if things were tough, was always going, we can do this and we can, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. we, can, we can get through it and I'll hold your hand and all of those kind of things. And I think that, you know, as you, as you get older and you start to maybe lose some of the uh, preface of, of ideas of what you maybe perceive yourself to have been or thought you should have been as, as a youngster, kind of start to peel off a little bit. Maybe that kind of side of me has evolved more. That's very interesting. Yeah, it is interesting because I think how people evolve, <laughs> you're right, you're not necessarily the same person you were from the beginning. And life is, like we said before, it's a process. Mm -hmm. So who you are is also a process, really, right? Well, I'm, you know, yeah, you're, in the, you're still in the midst of it, I hope. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Let's, let's hope rather than... Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the idea, right? I mean, yeah. it, it's kind of the journey that's that's the that's the great thing here. That's that's what's on offer. I agree. Right? Okay, cool. So you did well with my, uh, you know, my digging around or deep deeper questions, I guess, digging into I like the that. I like questions. That. <laughs> I don't know if you were fully prepared for that, but oh, it's not prepared at all. Not let alone fully. <laughs> Well, that's, it should be, you know, just not pre-thought or whatever. But no, whatever. I love that. I love that. To me, it's more like, like one of those conversations we would have if we were sitting in one of those cafes with the chairs facing out a little bit, but still talking. This is the kind of conversation I think well, we'd have. Once again, it's about the journey. That's right. That's right. That was Julian McMahon. If you like this video, please smash the like button and tap on the subscribe button for more talks with your favorite actors. And by the way, if you like this chat with Julian, you will probably like my talk with Tim Daly. You know him from Madam Secretary. I'll put a link down below in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.